Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN on YouTube. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Dennis Schroeder and the situation with the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I'm probably making this video real late, but it just came in this morning when it came to uh, Dennis Schroeder and his contract situation with the Los Angeles Lakers. According to Brian Windhorse of ESPN, he reports by saying that Dennis Schroeder has rejected the Lakers extension contract for four years 85 million dollars and there is more detailed in this particular uh contract situation that he's that the the lakers gave out was that he's going he was going to make 21 million dollars per year think about that for a second i mean a point guard of that caliber a guy of his credentials Getting $21 million per year, a, a total contract of four years, $85 million. Personally, guys, when I heard about this, I said that was fair, but too much in my opinion, okay? For a guy who is, you know, you know, for a guy who starts and how he played for the Los Angeles Lakers so far, I mean, it's reasonable. I mean, I have to say... It's a bit too much, but it's reasonable for a guy to sign an extension like this. And to find out that Dennis Schroeder did not sign this contract kind of puts into question of how deep is the relationship between Dennis Schroeder and the Los Angeles Lakers. I found it very odd that he did not accept it. For a guy like him to not accept it. You know, there's a lot of theories, a lot of theories and scenarios of people uh, putting out there, reporters are putting out there that maybe Dennis Schroeder wants to test the free agency market. I mean, all players, including players from last season, like Rajon Rondo, uh, Dwight Howard, and the rest of them, they decided to test the free agency market just to see what their value is, having the attraction of teams going after them and putting out offers here and there but sometimes at the end of the day those particular players end up re-signing with their respected teams that they played for but when it comes to Dennis Schroeder's situation it kind of puts it into question does he really want to be a Laker what he's been saying for these past couple of months he wants to stay a Laker he wants to be a Laker stay in Los Angeles and stuff like that don't you think for a guy like him, he would say, you know what, this is fair. I'm going to sign a four-year, $85 million. I'm going to be get paid by by making $21 million. I mean, it's just um, per year. So it's just, you know, very interesting that he did not accept it. And I, and I was just racking my brain around this uh, this morning because, you know, I had some things to do uh, throughout the day uh, by the time I had time to make this video. It really got me to thinking throughout the day. I mean, I was like thinking to myself, why? Why did you not sign that extension? It's a perfect contract for you to sign. And to find out that you rejected the Lakers offer, it kind of puts into question that you're not happy with the Los Angeles Lakers. You are in that sort of scenario. I gave you, already gave you guys the other scenario. He wants to test the free agency market and that's fine. But you're kind of leaving us in the dark here. I mean, I have to say it's kind of hard to explain the situation that the that the Lakers are in. And, you know, when it comes to the free agency, free agency market, um, they are potential, potential point guards that the Lakers could go after. But Dennis Schroeder kind of fits the mold of how the Lakers are building their team. And he... Basically, you know, he does work well with LeBron and Anthony Davis and soon to be uh, Andre Drummond and the rest of the Lakers squad. But, you know, this is how the business is, I guess. I mean, some players think that they are worse than what uh, the 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 extension is. And, uh, you know, and I have to say I'm I'm a kind of up and down type of uh, circumstances when it comes to Dennis Schroeder. Sure, you want to 
test your your value in the free agency market and see what your value is but at the same time you put out there that you want to be a laker and stuff like that and you know you're working out with the uh the lakers when it comes to the extension and stuff like that but then we find out you rejected it and it was a pretty good extension in my opinion for some reason you decided not to it's just I don't know. There's so hard to tell what's in the mindset of Dennis Schroeder. And uh, hopefully, you know, things turn out uh, pretty well moving forward when it comes to uh, the circumstances of Dennis Schroeder and the Los Angeles Lakers and the contract situation. But, uh, you know, once we reach that, uh, that time and that moment, once free agency hits, uh, I will make sure to keep you guys up to date about any sort of Lakers interest when it comes to... Uh, you know, Dennis Schroeder possibly re-signing with the Lakers or maybe finding a replacement for Dennis Schroeder. Because, you know, there's a lot of free agents that are going to be uh, testing the free agency market. There's uh, Chris Paul. There's Alonzo Ball. I mean, Derek Rhodes. I mean, there is a lot of point guards that could be a potential replacement if the Lakers do decide to move on from Dennis Schroeder. Uh, because you know they don't have bird rights on him so that's uh, obvious but if they decide to do a sign and trade deal then that's uh, another scenario that the Lakers could do uh, uh, you know down the line but you know still remains to be seen about that but uh, you know it is what it is it is what it is guys so please uh, comment down below like subscribe to the channel that's all I really wanted to talk about I mean there's also another video that I'm going to make when it comes to uh, LeBron and his uh for some reason, I found this uh, very uh, surprising when it came to him recruiting Steph Curry. So <laughs> I, I will give you guys a different video of my reaction about that. But uh, when it comes all said and done, the Dennis Schroeder situation with the Lakers and the contracts uh, kind of puts into the question of what's going on in the organization between him and uh, with Dennis Schroeder and uh, will they potentially work it out or will they potentially move on from Dennis Schroeder? I mean, still may be seen about that. Uh, free agency is a long way to go. I mean, maybe things will uh, change when it comes to the circumstances of the two parties, but, uh, you know, still may be seen about that. And uh, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions, guys, in the comment section down below. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please give me your thoughts about this. I mean, do you guys agree with my analysis? Do you think Dennis Schroeder should have uh, signed that extension four years, $85 million, making about 21 per year or do you think uh, you know he has the right to test the free agency market and see how he works I mean you know I also feel that way I mean I do feel about any sort of player about their value when it comes to uh, testing the free agency market I mean they let them get paid I mean that's obviously what they want to do but you know when it comes to this, I mean, that was a pretty generous offer from the Los Angeles Lakers, in my opinion. And hopefully, maybe down the line, if somehow Dennis Schroeder thinks it's a good uh, extension, maybe he will sign it. But, you know, still remains to be seen about that. And I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.